Hey y'all, just a quick video for you today. I wanna to show you a tool that I made that I use quite often and I'm gonna show you how to make one too. So I was on a job yesterday as a handrail job, as always, and it was a safety rail. So I was using this inch and a half pipe, but I needed to join two pieces and that's where this tool comes in handy. Um, it's really, really cool, easy to work. It'll work on small pipes, it'll work on big pipes, it'll work on square tube, it'll work on angle iron, anything that you wanna join like this. And uh, it's super easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how to make one. So what it does is, it uses this to push down on these pipes, but the chain holds these together. And uh, what you do, let me undo this. So you just got your chain pieces like that. You got your piece of pipe there. You pull the chain up through these little slots. and you crank it down. Now these two pieces are held together tight. You can uh, set a gap, you can um, bevel these, uh, set it in, weld it up. You can tack it like here, here, and here, then take it off and weld it out. But uh, let me show you how to make this. So again, I don't know if this has a name, um, but I, I made this several years ago and I use it all the time. And all I did was I took two, two lengths of chain, about two feet long, and I cut one of the links and I welded it on here. Now you want to make sure that you've got these pretty, pretty even. And then I took a length of um, threaded rod. This is about 10 inches long, something like that. I welded on a nut onto this quarter inch plate. And then I got one of these long, uh, I don't know what these are called, um, extended, nuts, whatever, and, and, and um, anyway, I welded that about halfway in, and then I drilled a hole, and I took a long bolt and made a, a handle, and uh, so on the back side, you've got this hole here with this coming out, and uh, chamfer the end of that, and then I took a piece of uh, angle iron, nothing fancy, and a piece of pipe that would fit on there, okay? And uh, so it's, it's uh, super easy to use. Oh, one other thing. On the top of this, you want to um, either put a big giant weld bead on there or on here, I just put a piece of metal uh, across that and then I, I uh, cut it with the angle iron, I mean with the angle grinder. And... Uh, that's so that when you put your chain on here, this doesn't slip off. Okay, it kind of locks that in and it doesn't let it just fall off the end right there. But um, let me show you how to, how to operate this little contraption. We've got our piece that we wanna that we want to join. So we want to join these two pipes. Let me find some flat one. Yeah. So we want to join these two pieces of pipe. So we're just going to lay it in here. Then you take your chain and you put it across. Then you take your other chain. This is easier to use when it's actually, you know, on on something.
All right, so once you've got those locked in and, and you're comfortable with your gap that you have on there, you just tighten this up. And this, pushes this angle iron down on this pipe, the chains hold it together, and uh, there you go. Uh, now, if this was chamfered, you could adjust your gap, get it in there, tack it, tack it, tack it, take this off, weld it out. So this same little device, not only will it work on this smaller pipe, it'll work on big pipe, It'll work on medium sized pipe. It'll work on square tube. It'll even work on this big four inch square tube, um, angle iron, you name it. But uh, I'm so glad that I made this. Um, like I said, I made this probably, uh, I don't know, years ago. And I use it all the time and um so on this job that i was doing yesterday it was a safety rail that he wanted to do it really really cheap so he just wanted me to cut out a little piece that got damaged and replace with a new piece and that's where something like this came in perfect uh it holds holds your pipe right where you need it nice and tight so that you can tack it up, then you can weld it out and then remove this. And again, I don't, I don't know what the proper name of this little device would be called, but um, I'll tell you, I sure am glad I've got it. So go out and make you one. Make your own tools. Y'all have a good day.